Whitney Bennett was just a teenager when her life almost took a horrific turn. It was a seemingly ordinary night, and like any other teenager, Whitney retreated to her bedroom in her suburban home to get some sleep. However, this night would be anything but ordinary. Whitney woke up in the middle of the night to find a man attacking her, armed with a tire iron. He had already begun his assault. She fought with all her might, and miraculously, the assailant left, thinking she was dead. When she was later discovered by her family, she had visible strangulation marks, but was alive. The weapon, left at the scene, would become evidence in the Night Stalker case. Mabel Mabel and her sister Nettie Lang were elderly sisters living together when they were attacked. The intruder broke in and used a hammer in his assault. He also used telephone cords to bind the victims. Despite the ferocity of the attack, Mao survived, although her sister Nettie tragically did not. Their case added to the growing sense of dread among Southern California residents. Dale Okazaki became another unsuspecting victim when she was shot in her apartment. She tried to dodge the attacker by ducking behind a kitchen counter, but it was in vain. Her roommate discovered her lifeless body, and this murder became another dark chapter in the Night Stalker's rampage. Layla and Max Nading were a married couple who were both tragically murdered in their home. Their crime scene was one of the most gruesome encountered by authorities, and their deaths sent shockwaves through the community. They did not survive the attack, and their case added urgency to the police investigation that was struggling to make headway. Ruth Wilson was in her 70s when the Night Stalker broke into her home. Despite being a senior citizen, Ruth showed incredible resilience. After being bound and assaulted, she convinced her attacker to spare her life, promising not to report him. Remarkably, he agreed and even untied her before fleeing from the ransacked home. Ruth Wilson survived a direct encounter with one of America's most notorious serial killers. Thanks to the efforts of law enforcement and the courage of survivors willing to come forward, a police sketch of the suspect was eventually distributed. This led to the Night Stalker's public capture by civilians who recognized him, ending a reign of terror that had gripped Southern California. Richard Ramirez, the man behind these heinous crimes, was eventually tried and convicted on multiple counts, including murder. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. While justice was served in the courtroom, the lives of those he attacked would never be the same. Survivors and families alike carry the scars of those dark times, even as they display incredible resilience in moving forward. 